Where J. Armand Bombardier lived as a child in southeastern Quebec in the early 1900s, they didn't blow the roads during the snowy winters, so cars had to be put away in favor of horse-drawn sleighs. Bombardier started out learning mechanical engineering as a teen and came up with a crude, surface-skimming vehicle with a small propeller. At age 19, he began making gas-powered machines that would be the precursor to the modern snowmobile. While watching a traveling circus in 1930, George Neeson, a 16-year-old Iowa boy, thought that it would be really cool if performers could bounce back up in the air and continue their tricks. He, as a member of the University of Iowa's gymnastics team four years later, alongside his coach, perfected the fun contraption, which was later named trampoline, after the Spanish word for diving board. In 1922, an enterprising 18-year-old water sports enthusiast, Ralph Samuelson, came up with the idea of water skiing on Lake Pippin in Minnesota. After trying wooden barrel staves and actual snow skis for skis, he ended up with his own design and bindings made of leather. Samuelson is also credited with the first ski jump using a greased ramp 